Hello folks, this is GB Soccer 10 and this is my Math 121 art project. Today I'm going to show you how the path of a kicked soccer ball correlates with a parabola. Now, the basic formula, formula for a parabola is x squared equals 4py. Now, when there's an x value being squared, the parabola will open either upwards or downwards. And that depends on the p-value, if it's positive or negative. On this one, we see that it, the p-value is positive, so it opens up. On this one, the p-value is negative, so it op opens downwards. Now, if a y-value is being squared, it will, the parabola will open to the left or right. This, again, is dependent on the p-value. In this one, it's positive, so it opens to the right. In this one, it's negative, so it opens to the left. Now, when I kick the soccer ball, it did not go underground. So we're going to have to change the point of the vertex to where the ball goes from my foot up into the air, hits the vertex, and hits the ground all on the same level. So, in order to change the vertex, we have to have an entirely new formula. And that formula is x minus h quantity squared is equal to 4p times y minus k, where the vertex is at point h, k. h is your x value, and k is your y value. So, when I kick the soccer ball, it reached a maximum height of about 15 feet, we're going to say. Now, I would like my vertex to be on the center of the x-axis. So the x value is going to be 0, and the height that I kicked it at, 15 feet, is going to be my y value. So x minus 0 is equal, x minus 0 quantity squared is equal to 4p times y minus 15, where the vertex is at point 0, 15. So we're going to go ahead and plot that on the graph, 0, 15. Now that we have our vertex, we're going to, now that we have our vertex, we can focus on the distance the ball traveled, which was about 40 feet. So we need to incorporate that into the graph. In order to do that, we must first find our focus. After trying to figure this out for a very, very long time, I finally found the equation that worked. And that equation is x minus 0 quantity squared is equal to 20 times y minus 15. Now, to find our focus and our, and our, direct, <laughs> our directrix, we're going to solve for p. So we're going to take 20 is equal to 4p, divide by 4, and we get that p is equal to 5. So to find our directrix, we are going to add 5 to our vertex, and that's going to give us 20. So we're going to draw a dashed line to represent our directrix. And for our focus, we are going to subtract 5 from the vertex, which is going to give us a value of 0, 10. Now we're going to, we're going to find additional points that the parabola crosses through using this focus. And to do that, we are going, sorry, just a second. We are going to take the y value of the focus, which is 10, and place that in our equation. So once we have done that, x minus 0 quantity squared is equal to 20 times 10, there's our y value, minus 15. So then we're going to simplify that, and we get x minus 0 quantity squared is equal to 20 times negative 5. We're going to simplify that even more to where it is equal to negative 100. We are going to take the square root of both sides, and x is going to equal plus or minus 10i. Now, for my purpose, I am not going to use 10i. Usually you would, but I am just going to show the path of the ball hitting the ground, and 10 is the value that I need. So. We're going to plot these points on the graph. 
So our x value, our y value will stay 10, and our x value will be positive 10 and negative 10. So we're going to plot those right now. So we have negative 10, 10, and positive 10, positive 10. Now we're going to draw our line from our vertex through our point and continue through the x-axis. I'm going to do that on the opposite side as well. And there we have it. The parabola representing the path of the soccer ball that I kicked. I started at positive 20. I kicked the ball. It hit its vertex, the highest point, at 15 feet. Started to head back down and landed at negative 20. 40 feet from foot to ground. Highest point was at 15. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. Have a great day. Bye.